at the at my age of four years that is when my mother and father divorced and they got out out of their marriage and I have two older sisters and one younger and I'm the only boy and throughout that time of after that divorce my mother kicked my father out from the home that moment right there I don't remember my older sisters probably remember that more than I do but I do remember the situation with my father after that point it was an in and out relationship between me and him and all of my my, my sisters but in particular me and him and um, I remember throughout throughout my lifetime all the way up to the age of 16 I remember the majority of what he would do is he would provide us the entertainment of life rather than the actual helping us with our self-development as a father and parents in general should, should do so it was like my mother she had the the hard work she had the, the physical physical work of providing for us and then my father he had the light work as far as the entertainment and just providing us the money so one thing at um i remember at the age of 16 i was sitting down by my by myself in my room and i just started to have this sudden subtle feeling that the last time i saw my father when i was 16 years of age that was going to be literally the last time that i'll ever see him again in in my life as far as him doing anything with me so when i sat down and i realized that by myself there are a few things that i could have done i could have sat there and cried and i could have been furious and angry and mad at the world and mad at him but no my mindset was okay he's not coming in my life anymore so what i need to do is focus zone in on what it means to be a man and develop myself into a much much better man than him and and, and just be the best man that i can be overall that's really the, the the mindset that i had is to be the best man that i can be develop into the best man that i can be so 16 years of age with my uh study observation and examination of 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 humans in general the teenage years all the way up to the early 20s that's the development stage right there so throughout my years between that those years that's when i started to do self-development and self uh reflection and once i realized that my mother was more of a provider than uh, a mother who literally raises my raises their children because there's a difference there's a difference between a provider and there's uh, uh, a per a parent who raises their children and who has that who has their motherly instincts and fatherly instincts activated and they are they are mentally mature developed and, and psychologically strong to help develop their children so my mother she was more of a provider than actually um someone who who can help raise her children psychologically because she was already psychologically um undeveloped very very undeveloped because of what happened with her getting married in her teenage years and that's a big no-no now that i've have all of the information now with doing my own study studying so it was like i realized her psychological level and i said to myself man okay so the, my father's not in my life anymore mother is always at work to bring home the money to take care of us all of my sisters are literally chasing boys so i'm here by myself and I said, and I realized that there's nobody around me to really teach me life. So I said again, okay, don't get mad, don't get angry at the world. Just focus in and do what you got to do to develop yourself. 
self-reflection, self-development, SRSD. And ever ever since then, I, I've been through all of my trials and errors and making my mistakes as every developing person makes. The common ones, getting into relationships, a variety of them, friendships, and also romantic relationships and making the mistakes in there but the difference with me is is what I did is I would always look at myself each time uh, something didn't go right the way that I wanted it to the way that I wanted it to and if it wasn't successful in any, in any kind of way I would look at myself at what I did and I would ask myself okay what did I do that I could have done better to help to see the situation move forward. And overall, now that I look at all of my mistakes that I made in, in the past and even during them, I realized that it, was, it started off with maturity. Maturity is the major, major thing that everybody must have regarding if they want successful success in any part of their life. Because once they reach a high, mature, psychological, and emotional level to where they can really be able to control themselves in any situation, especially new situations, and be able to use their wisdom that they've gained throughout life, if they did their self-reflection and self-development and consistently do it, then success will come. But the average person with me really realizing this now is the average person is weak minded, is psychologically weak and emotionally weak and undeveloped. So it's like when they're presented with new situations and if the situation affects their ego in a negative way, then that's when they have a state of feeling all is lost. And then they start going all over the place. And then if they're really on an immature, undeveloped level, that's when they start to try to figure out how to, to control people. If not control people, then they lash out in any kind of way to mature, to, uh, to get back at people if something didn't go their way. Instead of stopping and thinking like, okay, wait a minute. Now, what just happened here? What could I have done better on my part to make this more successful than it, than it did? But the average person, they don't do that. And it's like, and overall, what I encourage people to do is to sit down and really reflect on their life and reflect on where in their own personality, what of themselves can they develop? What do they need to do to develop themselves? And the majority of the people that do that I can almost guarantee you that maturity will be the foundation of what they need to get done. Just because a person is considered an adult does not mean that they're mature as one and psychologically strong and developed as one. Remember, SRSD, self-reflection and self-development.